So I'm pretty sure you guys heard the news. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is actually confirmed to release this year, October 11th. And honestly, I just want to talk about it. So if you guys don't know what Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is the next installment of the Budokai Tenkaichi series. That's right. The Budokai Tenkaichi series. Going back from 2004, 2003, 2005, those years 2006 that is when dragon ball z blue the guy tenkaichi those series were at its peak the playstation 2 going all the way up to its long even still played to this day to be more technical it's still played to this day and it, it was just an insane game it was an insane era actually just to live in and we're actually able to re-experience that actually here for the new generation for the people who are now into dragon ball z or from who just watches rhyme style dion's and donald's video regarding going back to tenkaichi or budokai or budokai tenkaichi in general it's it's just it's in a magnificent series it was a great series and it had a lot of love See, a lot of people today don't even know the struggles when we had the beam struggles when we had the analog burns on our hands we used to break our controllers sitting there mashing buttons and the analog stick and we get the infinite analog drift and we had to keep getting new controllers every single damn time and then you play the game so goddamn much that quite literally it got the ingrained scratches into the cd and you have to turn around praying to god please please work please work please work and then we hit a you know and then you hear the music start going you're like let's go it worked baby like that was the time and it was a great time to be alive in my opinion it was an amazing time for gaming and now that game is now back to not only share his love with the old ogs and nostalgia of it but also the new generation so i have a couple of the games like in the background the trailers whatever and just from what i've seen from the summer game fest i saw that they bought up they bought back the what is but they basically call it new possibilities and you can allegedly you can share it to friends so they can even play your story that you create so i don't know what the extent is going to be for that but for the love of god if it's as if i'm thinking in my head and i can just create the story as i see fit up until current uh anime where it stopped that which is basically top for the love of god i know what the hell i'm gonna be doing so i'm gonna be really happy about this the battle mechanics they they got from budokai tenkaichi 3 from the budokai series in general and then some of the raging blast aesthetics uh ground destruction everything is there and this is one of the only few games that i know that actually has in-game setting damage and it actually stays it don't vanish it don't just magically regenerate as if it's the goddamn fucking a lizard no it actually stays there so this game is well done even the blast radius if your blast has a specific radius and it hits the dirt and it does and it actually makes up a smoke screen you can actually play around that the ui looks great the hud looks great the character models look great the characters look great the transformation look fucking transformationally everything looks phenomenal i don't know what else i could have asked for this is everything that a kid me would have asked for and plus extra it's just it's magnificent so i have no arguments there and honestly i would love it to win game of the year the chances of that the, all the heavy hitters like expedition 33 38 whatever it's called coming out you got black wukong you got final fantasy 16 that also released as well too you got phantom blade zero you got all these heavy hitting games that's releasing this year uh i don't i don't know who's going to take home game of the year but if we can somehow get it for toriyama sensei i'll be really happy so i already pre-ordered the premium edition of it i i can't actually show it because i don't have to put up on my phone but i ordered the premium edition so that means we get it three days and three days early so we will be here live only on youtube could i go live on other platforms we'll be live here only on youtube playing sparking zero the entire story through and we're gonna be fighting each other as well on stream so if you want to be part of this generational ass kicking that you're gonna receive not me but you you're gonna receive yes i'm talking shit because oh my god I, i'm I, i'm about it some of y'all gonna be running y'all mouths but you better be about that action when this game drops but if you guys want your ass kicked i'm more than welcome to take names and sign autograph ass for this day that i'm about to do to you guys I'm about to do it's about to be judgment day upon you and yes i'm whooping ass so if you guys want to you know be part of that make sure you guys are here for that stream and also put your psn because that's what i'm gonna be playing it on on playstation put your psn in the comment section i'm gonna go back to this video specifically and i'm going to add people from this video 
on the PlayStation so we can play. I have so much content coming towards Sparking Zero, so hopefully, if you guys are looking towards Sparking Zero content, and just for the hype of this game, subscribe, like the like button, get this video out there. The more people, the more better. Uh, we're going to have such fun. I have so much content ideas that I'm ready just to implement. I'm just itching. This is definitely one of those channels that you want to be at for when Sparking Zero drops. So, if, like I said, if you want to come back, just make sure you guys have this channel on your feed. We do a lot of anime game content and story-based games. Sprank a little bit of horror games in there too. We do a lot of that on this channel. Specifically, a lot of Dragon Ball Z. So, if that is your main thing, you know, go over there and smack that like button and subscribe. Like I said, you'll be here join the club um other than that i don't have anything else that i would kind of critique sparking zero from what we've seen the last thing i want to talk about is dlc we got a lot thrown at us for these past trailers and uh the summer guest fest uh trailer as well too and for the dlc i'm pretty sure what we're going to get for dlc is going to be superhero with beast go on and the gammas it's going to be gt Obviously, the Granola and Moral Arc, anything that's in the manga that's covered, that's going to be DLC. The reason why I say it is because it's going to obviously go from Saiyan Saga all the way up to TLP and Broly. That's going to be the he that's going to be the timeline that we're going to be playing in the story mode for Sparky Zero, and that's probably going to be around like maybe about like 10 hours, possibly maybe 10 hours, maybe 11, 12 hours. Definitely, I don't think it's beyond Spider-Man length time of gameplay. It should be around there. And then the rest of those are gonna be DLC. Oh, hey, if I'm proven wrong, I'm proven wrong, but that's what I'm seeing right now for DLC. I don't know, you guys can talk about it in the comment section to see if I'm bugging or not. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I kinda wanted to talk about regarding Sparking Zero. Like I said, you wanna be here for the content for it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, follow. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content, a lot. Um, and at the same time, if you guys are looking towards Black Wukong, we'll be playing Black Wukong as well too. So if you're looking forward to that game, we'll be live streaming that as well on YouTube and other streaming platforms as well, such things as Twitch, TikTok, uh, Kick, and YouTube. Four right there. That makes a W. Um, all right, so that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think for Sparking Zero what edition did you get doesn't matter let me know down in the comment section down below drop your psn with your comment so i can add you guys so i can proceed to whoop your ass when the game comes out and uh yeah you know um yeah i'm gonna be smoking on y'all pack when it release i'll be giving y'all the 19 inches of venom ain't that right goku yeah what he said